Hi, it's Tony Tricelius with Cheap Scrapbook Stuff coming to you with this week's Hump Day Inspiration. And today I'm working with one of the brand new uh, photo play collections. It is called Book Club. I will show you the collection. Um, first up, we have the cardstock sticker sheet. So there you go. Um, the next one, we have the paper. And the first paper is called Books Galore. There's the front and the back. This one is called I Love to Read. So some journaling cards on the front and splatters on the back. This one is called Bookshelf. Bookshelf and the back side of polka dot. This one is called Favorite Character, so a floral print and some other, uh, some bigger journaling cards. This one is called Paper Plane, so paper airplanes and then a pretty newsprint on the back. And this one is called Storied Stripe, so a really nice uh, colorful stripe and some hearts on the back um, and then we have an ephemera, pla uh, ephemera pack and a stamp set and the die set is not here yet it will be here it will coordinate with the stamp set and then um, a coordinating cardstock variety pack to go with it so that's the collection and my layout. So first layout. So I used bookshelf for the background. So um, bookshelf for the background. And then I took um, the back side of bookshelf, cut a four inch strip, ran it horizontal, and then I took a storied stripe, the back side, the hearts, four inch strip, ran it vertical, took the back side of storied stripe and cut a four inch square and put it on the diagonal, kind of hide the seam, and that was pretty much it for the background. I then took um, favorite character. I loved these two big journaling boxes. Um, so I cut those out and I mounted them on um, Tropical Bay and Mint Julep cardstock. And then to keep the theme consistent or cohesive, if you will, I used um, the same cardstock to mount the smaller journaling card and to make a small photo mat or journaling box, whatever you wanted to do. Um, I added a couple stickers from the sticker sheet and that was the end of that one. So first layout done. Second layout. Looks like this. And this time I used books galore for the background. And I took a three inch strip of the back side of Books Galore. So the stripe. And ran that on the borders. And then I took uh, three inch squares of storied stripe. And I love to read the back sides. Um, a three inch Oops, sorry about that. Knocked the camera over. Cut three inch squares of um, both of those. And um, did them opposite. So two and then one and then two and then one. And then I took more of the cardstock. Um, I took more of the mint julep and fireflies. And I cut... Um, more three inch squares, cut them on the diagonal and cut it on the diagonal again to get these 
little triangles and placed them opposite so you can see what I did. And then I took a small square of Tropical Bay, a one inch square, and put that in the center. So um, I kind of made a quilting design for those of you that quilt as well, um, out of paper. And that was it for the layout. And then I really just embellished the page with a cluster of cardstock stickers. So I did a cluster on the left hand side and another cluster on the right hand side. And then for the photo mats, I did lots of photo journaling mats on this page. And I used um, favorite character, the other, re the reverse side of it, the flowers, and the fireflies cardstock on top of that. And that was it. Those were my layouts. So I will put some dimensions in the description and still pictures on Instagram. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and make it a great day.